mechanism of plastic deformation, slip, dislocation and twinning. Plastic deformation We know that there can be two types of deformation. 1. Elastic or temporary deformation. 2. Plastic or permanent deformation. Plastic deformation of metal produces a permanent change in the shape of the metal. It can take place by two different modes of of atoms in the crystal. Both the processes of deformation have been studied with respect to single crystal because the single crystal do not contain grain boundaries which greatly influence at the process of plastic deformation. There are two prominent mechanisms of plastic deformation, namely slip and twinning. Slip. Slip is the prominent mechanism of plastic deformation in metals. It involves sliding of blocks of crystal over one another along definite crystallographic planes, called slip planes. It is analogous to a deck of cards when it is pushed from one end. Slip occurs when shear stress applied exceeds a critical value. During slip each atom usually moves same integral number of atomic distances along the slip plane producing a step, but the orientation of the crystal remains the same. Generally slip plane is the plane of greatest atomic density, and the slip direction is the close packed direction within the slip plane. A deformed crystal after slip twinning portion of crystal takes up an orientation that is related to the orientation of the rest of the untwin lattice in a definite, symmetrical way. The twin portion of the crystal is a mirror image of the parent crystal. The plane of symmetry is called twinning plane. The important role of twinning in plastic deformation is that it causes changes in plane orientation so that further slip can occur. A deformed crystal after twinning dislocation we have already seen that real crystals are never perfect and contain a variety of imperfections or defects in their lattice structure dislocation are the line defects as they exist over a length of crystal lattice geometrically depending upon the atomic arrangement around the dislocation line two types of dislocation are identified edge dislocation and screw dislocation